One thing about this business is there are so many different ways of accomplishing this task. Um, there is no set template. Well, there is a template. Like 20 years ago, I got into the business. 15 years ago, I adopted a template. And that's basically the basic standards of how you keep bees and how you manage them and all this kind of stuff, which is all right. <clears throat> but my strategy over the last 15 years has been to take that template and kind of modify it, okay, adapt it to um, all my needs, all my wants, my needs, to adapt it to my situation. And uh, it's been a long process. My strategy has been to uh, take one thing that I hate about the beekeeping business, about what we do and what goes on here, and address it. So. Like if I did it one one thing over the last 15 years, so there's been like 15 different changes as applied to this honey farm, or even you know I apply the same strategy over the entire farm. So it just helps you focus on problems one at a time, and you know allows you to be able to build the resources or the thought process, build the resources, and develop the programs to be able to satisfy it. So you can kind of see all my uh, situational changes that I have made within the honey farm here, which isn't typical to most beekeeping operations. And I've been able to adapt it in such a way that everything it just follows into some kind of a process. It's one great big program, right? And the more years we go through it, the more we can tweak these little situations and the easier things just become and then we can build on it so once you have your programs and your process in place set up to manage the the amount of hives that you have basically after that once that program is in place to expand to be able to uh, handle more work you just duplicate things right and Beekeepers handle these types of uh, situations differently. You see a lot of big, big guys who just add just a complete layer of simplicity into their programs and they just hire staff, right? So they have thousands of hives. Um, the simplest way to pull honey is fume boards and a lot of guys. You know, you put the fume board on, you pick up that box, you put it onto the truck, and a guy in the truck stacks it. There's nothing simpler than that. For an operation like mine, I don't, I haven't gone that route. I've gone more of a mechanical way of uh, operating things. Um, I hire local employees, like typically school kids. I do a lot of the work myself. So I've adapted my program, uh, brought in some processes to be able to target, you know, all my specific requirements. And it's working out very well. These covers are one of them. These covers are addressing a situation of robbing. Um, these are skateboards. Are addressing the situation of uh, lifting. Um, and everything just kind of works together in tandem. So I have these skateboards. We use that arm to do all of our lifting. We are able to clear these bees out uh, in a non-invasive fashion without having to lift these boxes. But then we have to address the robbing issue. So then we, when the robbing season starts, we start covering up our hives, which completely eliminates the robbing situation within my apiary. So I tackled the lifting issue. I tackled the, I wanted to pull my honey without chemical, or uh, I want to do it non-invasively. So I've used escape boards. And I've been able to incorporate this throughout the whole season to completely eliminate my robbing situation. Um, and it's just been a beautiful thing. So anyways, that's just that's just a few thoughts around some process on, um, you know, developing uh, your strategy on managing workload and managing all the jobs that have to be done at, on hand. But one of the most important things I found as adopting all these techniques bringing in this equipment to do my work, my lifting, 
uh, adopting silly looking covers here to manage robbing you know all these little things I do around here I don't care what anybody else thinks about how I'm doing things because it doesn't matter to them it doesn't matter what they think on what you're doing here uh, it's our operation as long as we're getting the work done the way that keeps us satisfied that's all that matters.